Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we'll be talking about audio players with our Discord.js bot. So thanks for joining me. All right, so let's get straight to it. First thing you're going to need to do is install the at Discord.js slash voice package with NPM. And you're going to also need to install a an encryption package. The one I installed with this is Lips, Lib Sodium Wrappers. So the entire line here that you need to install is npm install discord.js slash voice libsodium wrappers. If you want to do the same thing I'm doing, you can also use sodium as well. The next thing you're going to need to do is install ffmpeg. And I did npm install ffmpeg dash static. And this allows us to play multiple different uh, audio files such as mp3s, .wav files, and so on. So make sure you install this or else it will not work. The next thing you need to do is add another intent to your client. So in the client creation, at the very end, add the intent flags.guild underscore voice underscore states. This will allow your bot to have the permissions to actually run the audio voice. And lastly, let's talk about the new constants that we have. So create your play.js file or whatever you want to call it. Create the basic shell, which is basically the ping. So just copy and paste this and then add what I have here. So I've the first constant I have is generate dependency report. Second is audio player status. Join voice channel create audio player and lastly is create audio resources and these are all required from at discord js slash voice all right and lastly we have config because we're going to need to use some of our config variables so i have config equals require config.json make sure you're referring to wherever that config file is located all right so now let's hop into the actual meat of the code so the first thing you're going to want to do is specify the voice channel IDs and the actual voice channel. So I have my voice channel ID. I set this within my config file. So I was able to access it directly. Config.musicChannelID. Then to access the actual voice channel as a variable, I did client.channels.cache.get and then the voice channel ID. And then lastly, I got my guild ID, which is config.guild ID. And now we have an audio player. Now this is what actually plays the resource or the audio file that you have. So the way you specify that is constant player equals create audio player. And remember, this is one of the things that we imported here. And now we have, once the player is playing, so player.on, audio player status dot playing, so right now we're just specifying once the player is playing, now we can do whatever we want. So player.on audio player status dot playing, console.log, and then whatever message you want, I have the message the audio player has started playing. And also, if there's an error, we also want to know what's going on with this error and how we can fix it. So player.on error, and then we're going to log the error message. All right, so now let's actually create the audio resource and play the audio. So we create the resource by stating constant resource equals create audio resource and then specify the exact file path to that resource. I have one right here called link.mp3 within my resources folder. So I have that entire path specified right there. And then in order to play the resource, player.play resource. Now, this will not actually play the resource within the channel. It's playing it within the player. So now the player needs to be connected to the channel. So that's the purpose of the entire connection that we have down here. So constant connection equals join voice channel. And the attributes of this will be channel ID, the voice channel ID, the guild ID, which is our guild ID that we specified earlier, and the adapter creator. And the way you specify this is voice channel dot guild dot voice adapter creator. And I just have a message here that says that we created the voice connection just so I know that the code reached down to that point. 
and I'll create the subscription and the subscription the subscription is what actually adds our bot to the voice channel because as you can see I'm the only one in here right now so we're going to add the bot to the voice channel so constant subscription equals connection dot subscribe player so by subscribing the player onto that voice channel the bot is being added to the voice channel and it's playing whatever the audio player has been assigned to play earlier in the code and then we have here a timeout so the timeout just says after a certain length of time then let's not do anything or let's stop playing the audio so if subscription so if the subscription exists because so the subscription could be undefined so if subscription then set a timeout for 1500 or 15,000 milliseconds or 15 seconds so now that we have the basis of the code down let's test and see how it works so let me join this voice channel and let's actually run our code. So remember, we need to deploy our code first. So node deploy commands. All right, our commands are successfully deployed. So now let's actually run the code. So node index.js or node dot. All right, so as you can see, our bot's now online. So now let's run the play command. gonna play for 15 seconds and then log off. As you can see it automatically logged off after those 15 seconds. So you can modify this value however you want and you can change whatever parameters so that it's playing the exact way you want. Alright so that's it for this video. In future videos we'll get more in depth on how to actually pause or play or change the voice uh, or change the volume of that audio that you're playing at that very moment and a few more advanced things as we go along but i hope you guys have enjoyed i hope you guys have learned how to do this and i will see you all next time